Hey everybody, what is up and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of some cold steel knives So stay tuned because we're going to get right into it Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. And today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing. Uh, I got some cold steel knives in today and I wanted to do a quick unboxing of them, show them off to you guys. I am gonna do a full review on each knife later on. Um, but I just wanna do a quick unboxing because these boxes were super cool. And I wanted to show you guys the packaging and how they come in because I think they do a really good job with these. And I'm pretty excited about these knives. So what we have is the SRK line of knives. We have the compact, we have the standard, and we've got the Tanto version of them. I got them in the FDE, the Feta FDE color, which is like a brown. Um, and I'm really excited about them. And if you guys don't know anything about the SRK um, knives, the, the SRK knives that we're going to be unboxing and stuff, um, the SRK knife is, is the knife that is a, the standard issue of Navy SEALs when they go through BUDS training. So um, they get the black version. Um, they have a black version. They have um, two different color browns. They have the FDE version and coyote brown and green. So there's four different version colors now out. They originally came out in just the black, but I really like this color. So um, that's what I got. I wanted to get the whole set. Um, I might end up trying to get the whole green handled set as well because I like the different colors. I thought it'd be cool, but we're going to dive right in. We're going to check these out. We're going to show them to you guys real quick. I want to show you how they come in the box and show you the box. So let's get into it. So this one I do believe is the compact because it's the smallest one. Um, but this is a really nice solid box. I mean, they really package this really well. Now, I'm not sure how this one's going to come, but um, I kind of glanced in one of these and saw it. So I wrote, that's what made me want to do this video. Um, but these boxes are nice and solid and hard. And let's slide this out. You guys are going to see these. I haven't even looked at these. We're going to slide this out. So this is the compact. I'm going to close this. Well, we'll put the plastic in there. This is the compact SRK. And, um, oh, I already like this color. I can tell you I like that color. So let's set that down and let's show you. This is what it looks like in the sheath. And I haven't seen a lot of these with the brown, so that's the other reason I want to do this video so you guys can see it. it comes with a nice um, sheath. I forget what this is called. They're, uh, they're um, Secure-X. It's the Secure-X sheath. And it's got a um, nylon strap with a snap, which is nice as well. Um, snap feels really good. Um, You've got a nice um, loop here and it unsnaps so you don't have to take your belt off to put it on and off which is really nice as well so but that sheath it's secure in there it's really secure in there so let's uh let's shake that a little bit so you guys can see that that secure x sheath really good sheath so i like that it has some oil on it which is nice um but let's take it out of the sheath let's check it out it's a little oily i don't have anything to wipe the oil off so as I said, you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it, but wow, man, that handle feels good. That handle feels really, really good. I like that. I like that a lot. So that's super nice. Um, very oily. Very oily. Do I have a leaf or something laying around that I can wipe some oil off with? Let's see if we can clean off a little bit of the oil with a leaf. Yes, I'm using a leaf to wipe some of that oil off. Um, look at that oily but super cool blade um wow those hand grips feel real good and that feels real solid now i don't know if it's a full tang all the way through there or it's a rat tang i'm not sure what they do with that but um this is the srkc um and just man it feels good that feels really good so that's a very nice nice looking blade um i believe this is the it's a like a five inch size blade I think this is five this is seven the other ones are seven inch um, blades um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments I don't remember um, but uh man I really like this this is the like I said SRK SK5 so it's the five incher and um, that handle feels really good and I love that color I love that color so I'm really excited about that sheath is really nice 
hard. It's also, you can adjust it ambidextrous, which is really nice because this is set up for a right-handed guy, but you can actually take these, unscrew it, flip it around, put it on the other side for lefties like me, which is what I am going to do with this. And um, just really, really impressed. Now I understand why so many people like these knives. I've been interested in these for a while. And I just finally said, the heck with it, I'm going to pull the trigger on it. So I'm very excited. I like the fact that you can switch that around. So that's what it looks like in the sheath. Um, just really, wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. That thing feels really, really good in the hand. I can see myself carrying this as an everyday carry for sure. But I also like the fact that there's a lot of options for mounting. A lot of options for mounting, which is really important to me. Um, um, being able to have tons of different options for mounting this thing because you could even scout carry this thing You could rig up a scout carry on this if you wanted to not that I'm probably going to but um, I like the fact that you can do that you can rig it upside down you can rig it on a pack. I mean This is a very well thought out knife, you know And so I guess that's why the damn they're issued the Navy seals and buds because um, it's a very well thought out knife um, That feels really good. It's got you know, just a good just feel to it like it's not too heavy but it's not too light do you know what I mean so um, yeah wow but very oily gonna take a lot to get the oil off of that that's gonna be a, a little bit of process of cleaning that out so but that's okay um, I don't remember what the steel is right off of hand on this um, that's why I'm gonna do reviews later on it um, but I think it's that um, SR8 seal or something, 8, 8 steel or something like that. I don't remember. But when I do the full review, you guys will get that. I just wanted to show off the knives for the unboxing today. And this is really, really nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just let's show the plastic in here because I want to put these out like this. Set this on the box so you guys can keep looking at that one and staring at it because that's really cool. Now, I'm not sure which one we got here next. Um, let's see if I can figure it out because uh, I want to show you the next is this the tanta oh, I don't know this may be it doesn't say which one this is on the box it doesn't look like um, these are made in Taiwan just so you know but look at how nice they came I mean super nice box and this comes packed the sheath is packed separately from the blade on this one and nice bubble wrap so they really do a good job packing these knives in the box which is really really nice so this is this is the tanto one so actually let's hold off on this one i don't want to show you the tanto one yet i want to show you this one that's comparable to that one so let's do that but anyway same thing <laughs> um really nicely packed individually wrapped with the sheath and the knife which is really nice for these bigger ones um and let's take them out of here same thing with the really nice sheath um, which uh, is actually sealed. So let's cut that open. Take that out. Put that back there. And let's see what else we got here. So we got the blade, which is right here. Now this is the SRK standard, and yeah, it's got some oil on it too. Um, but this is the bigger version of that one. This is a lot beefier, definitely a lot beefier in the tip and a lot beefier um, blade altogether. And uh, man, that feels that feels really good in the hand. Now the other thing is is that I think I think this edge has enough of an edge that you might be able to get a fire spark off of it. Um, with a fire steel. I think you might be able to do that. We are going to test that out and see if we can. But again, another nice hard sheath. I love these sheaths. They're really nice. Clicks into place really good. Let's click that sucker in there. All right. Why are we, and that's really tight. Wow, that's really tight to put in there. That's really tight. <clears throat> wow, that's really tight. Like really tight. That's going to take a few. Uh, Few times of it, man. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of breaking in. But yeah, it clicks in there. That sucker clicks in there. You ain't losing that sucker. I can tell you that. I mean, it does come out of there, but that's really tight. 
I mean, really tight. That's actually a little tighter than I prefer it to be. But I think it'll work itself out. But yeah, that's what it looks like in the sheath with your snap. Let's undo the snap here. Snap, unsnap, unsnap. So, in the sheath. So you guys can see it in the sheath. Let's take it out of the sheath. And that sucker's really in there. That's not coming out. Really nice, nice blade. Um, they got a pretty darn nice edge out of the box on them, which we will test that as well in the video when we do some testing. But yeah, that's so you guys can see it really good and up close. So you can really get a good look at that. Yeah, like it, like it, like it, like it. So really nice, nice blade. So, but yeah, that's. When that sucker goes in there, let me tell you, you can feel it hit right there. You can see that that is very tight on the on the knife as it goes in. So that's going to take a little bit of breaking in, I do believe. So something to be mindful of as you uh, get these. Uh, but super cool blade. I can't wait to, to mess with them some. To see what they can actually do. Um, most of these are probably going to end up mounted on a pack or something. But that is that one. And now we got the Tanto version as well. So let's just cut this open right here. With this. Let's see. Ooh, I'm kind of, oh, wow, that's sharp. Ooh, that's sharp. Take that out. Definitely locks in there really good. So you're definitely not losing that sucker. That's for sure. And let's see what we got here. This is the Tanto. So yeah, I was really excited to get these. Now, I will tell you guys later in a video that I'm gonna make about where I got these from. Because unfortunately, Excuse me. Fortunately, I got them. But unfortunately, the people I ordered them from didn't do really a great job. Anyway, this is the Tanto version. This is the, the Recon Tanto. Check that out. That is really nice. Super nice. I like these, man. These feel really, really good. The grips feel really good. The blade's really good. Real thick, too. That sucker's thick. I'm about to show you all those. Let's see how well it goes in its sheath. Um, since that one was a little, little stiffy, stiffy, will this one do the same thing, or will this one? Well, this one slides in there a lot easier. So that one slides in and out. Still locks in there really, really good. So. That 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 sheath that locks that sucker in there. That thing ain't going nowhere. So you're not gonna lose this knife. So you don't necessarily need this strap that's on here. So some people I know cut it off. I like the extra security of having a snap. So I will be leaving the snap on there. But that's what it looks like in the sheath. And again, out of the sheath. That Tanto, super cool. And then we'll show you guys a comparison with all three. Um, let's close this box up here. Put this here, let's take all three out. So let's compare these two first, because these are the two bigger ones. So you guys can get an idea the size of the Tanto versus the standard the tanto is a, a lot longer so that shows you those two to give you an idea what that looks like um, the lengthwise and stuff and then see if we can compare the compact on top of that for you guys so you guys can see all three see if I can manage this so you guys can kind of get an idea all three. Let's see if I can do all three. 
Can you guys see that? That's all three together. So you kind of have an idea of the different sizes of the blades. Um, but yeah, man, they, these things feel really, really good. So we're going to do this. We're going to take these. We're going to line them up like this as I can. And then we're going to take and we're going to put... Can you guys see that one? Within the frame? Do you like that? I think you guys can see all that. So there you guys go. Or maybe I should pull them back a little bit because where's the bottom? Is that the bottom? I can see my hands. So we can see the whole thing. So there you guys go. That is the SRK uh, line of, of um, tactical knives. Like I said, this is this one right here. This size one is the one that actually gets issued to the Navy SEAL Buds guys. I'm pretty sure. I think it's that one. I don't think they get the compact. I think if they get this size one is the one they get. Um, but I really like the compact. It's really cool. Um, it is a, a thinner blade as far as the tip goes versus um, this one. If you guys can see, it's a little bit thinner. But still super cool. I still like them. And the really crazy thing is the price of these is, is worth it because you're talking like um, 40, I think this is like 42 or 48, this is like 38, and then this one's like 35 or something. So for like 120 bucks or something, I think is, with, with shipping 125 or $128, you can buy all three of these knives, you know, um, for like, yeah, like 50, 50, yeah, it's like a little over $100, a little over $100. Um, do the math i can't do it fast in my head but um they're very budget friendly and yet they're super nice so i hope you guys like this unboxing um i am going to do like i said i'm going to do an individual review of each one of the knives and stuff and talk about them after i get them cleaned i literally just got them in the mail they showed up and i wanted to do this quick unboxing because the box is really nice i like the way they had them packaged and i just want to show you guys how they come in the package um if you guys are wondering where i got these from i did order these from blade hq um, and they did get here, but I'm a little disappointed in how that all worked out, which I'm going to make a video strictly about the Blade HQ situation. Um, I ended up having to call them um, because a week had gone by. And just, just, just so you know, like Blade HQ is in the same state that I live in. They're only like about three hours away from me, um, three or four, something like that. Not far. Um, and it took a, um, after seven days... Um, I called and they hadn't even, hadn't even pulled my order yet. So, um, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, we will get into that whole thing. I'm going to do a whole video about that. So, but where I found these at was at Blade HQ with the tan handles. But I do know that Knife Center does carry them as well. So you can get the the this this version there as well, and you can get the green ones as well. So um, Blade HQ has all all the the colors available. Um, but um, uh, I'm not impressed with that. So, but this was just an unboxing with that. That whole conversation will be for another time. And uh, I did. I figured I'd at least tell you guys where I got them from um, because you can't find these on Amazon. Um, I will put links to the Amazon links to the SRK um, affiliate link down below for you guys if you want to get the black version because I do have an affiliate link for Amazon that I will put down there and that actually helps out the channel. So if you're looking for the black version and you guys want to use that link and you want to go to Amazon and get it, that'll help me out um, so I can buy more of these things to do reviews for you guys. So um, the links um, as far as for, for um, the SRKs for Amazon will be down below for you guys because I, I will not be linking any Blade HQ stuff down there. So... Um, just so you know, but I like to tell you guys where I got stuff from and you guys go get them wherever you want to. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I wanted to do an unboxing of this color because you don't see this color. You know, a lot of people have the black ones. I've seen a few people do the, the green ones now, but nobody's really doing this FDE color. Um, so, um, I wanted to do that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe button because it does help the channel out. Um, Comments down below, any questions, put them down there below too. Um, anybody that has the SRK knives, any one of these versions, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the knife because I'm just checking these out. I've had these, kind of been looking at them for a while and decided to finally pull the trigger. So um, I think they're going to be really good knives for what I do and what I like to do. And I just like a good solid knife. And I think this is going to be a good, well-rounded knife to carry on a regular basis. 
And so I'm pretty excited about it. So we're going to definitely see how they go. And I will be doing individual videos for each one of them. So that's all I got for you guys. And just, you know, we'll see you guys on the next video. So you have a good one.